Alright, so I want to do a quick video on how to go from just the standard bus bars to lug adapters. So first thing you want to do is unscrew your nuts. I've already gone through and busted them loose. Then pull off the bus bars, keep the washers. Now these bus bars you don't need anymore if you're going to use lug adapters. And if you notice, there are spacers underneath the bus bars that go from here to here. That's because this bus bar, make sure I don't drop the washer, I put two bus bars here. Each one of these bus bars can do 250 amps for about a minute. So two of them can do uh, 250 amps continuous. But uh, I just also want to talk about hooking up your wires. Let's say you've got, you're going to run two amps. Each amp is going to use one wire. And then you're also going to want run one wire from your alternator. So what I would do is I would run the alternator wire to the center lug and then run your two amps on your outside uh, lugs or posts. And that's because what's going to happen is your alternator is going to feed each of these batteries equally. So if you have a 300 amp alternator, you're not dumping 300 amps across here. You're dumping 150 here and 150 here. Now if you were to hook your alternator up here and then hook up amp 1, amp 2, your alternator will be putting in 300 amps here and it will be flowing 300 across this bridge right here and then 150 across this bridge. So, you know, you're going, you got a 300 amp hotspot. If you hook the alternator up here, you've got 150 and 150. So that's why you got to think about how you're going to run your wires when you set up these systems to reduce the amp flow. So just talking about here, you know, you got power that let's say the power is coming across you've got uh, let's say you're pulling 250 amps a cell that's the maximum these cells can do so here we have a three cell bank a three cell bank a three cell bank and a three cell bank so the power will you know flow like that so as the power is flowing from the negative through the positives it's building from that post to that post to that post so right here in the center, we've got 750 amps flowing across that bus bar right there. And then it drops to 500, then it drops to 250. And then the amps flow from here through the cell over here. And so now you go from 250 amps right here, 500 amps, 750 amps. So that's why these bus bars have to be so big is because as you're going from cell to cell to cell, you're building on your amp load through your bus bars. Now I could make these bus bars tapered, but that would just be more machining and make them more costly for no reason. All right, so now we're going to jump over to uh, the lug adapters. When you get your lug adapter, this surface is going to be all oxidized. Aluminum oxidizes very quickly. So what you need to do, you need to brush this oxidation off. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we got the wheel spinning. And look at the difference. So you can really see the difference between a buffed side and a not buffed side. So this side is very shiny, this side is very matte finish. So you want to get your bus bar to look, yeah, you can really see it. From, you want to get it shiny. You want to get that aluminum oxide off. That's the aluminum oxide. The aluminum oxide is ceramic and that's not good. Once you've got it all down, nice and buffed, take your no, no aluminum oxide or ox guard, put little streaks on it, and from there we're ready to put it back on the battery. So we got it back on the battery, we got our aluminum ox guard, put it down, squish it down, and I'm going to actually take it off again and use both hands, but uh, I'm going to put this BMS wire back on here. So I'm going to do that right now and it'll be on there in just a second. Okay, I also trimmed off the sides a little bit so it fit a little bit and not stick above because they do stick a little bit high if you don't trim them down. And I just took a pair of, uh, you know, snips like this, no problem. And so now you just Put on your 
washers and nuts in there and you're done. What I do is I put them on my same Allen key. I think this is a uh, 3 30 second, I think, can't remember. But uh, put it on there and I drop it down. And so that way it won't fall down. It'll always you know, fall centered if you put it on there centered. Um, and then you can knock it down a little bit with the Allen key. But I've found that if I do it by hand, sometimes the nuts will fall down inside the uh, counter bore and it's very difficult to get them out. So there, that's the last one, and I'll just take it and tap it down. There we go. Torque them up to 50 inch pounds. Yep, and so there you go. They're all torqued up, uh, and then just do the same thing to the other side. So just take off the nuts, take off the bus bars, buff your lug adapter, get it all nice clean, put the aluminum ox guard or uh, anti-oxidation on there. Screw down your BMS first and then go put it on, torque it up.